The heavy rain has also caused some damage in Ventura County. CBS 2's Amy Johnson continues our Storm Watch team coverage live from Oxnard. Amy. Well, Pat, a lot of damage was caused by a huge tree, and this is all that's left of that tree. Crews have cut it up, but I want to give you an idea of just how monstrous this tree was. This is part of the top section of the tree. It's been cut up, and I'm nearly six feet tall, and this, as you can see, is about five feet, and it's laying sideways. It was standing here, and witnesses tell us it was windy and rainy. When the tree toppled down, it landed on a car that was parked right here and then hit two others that were passing by. The huge tree came crashing down and smashed this black Honda. Witnesses say the rain was pounding and the wind was whipping when the tree came toppling down just before 1 o'clock here on Camino del Sol. Was it pretty scary? It was. It was a little scary. You okay? Yes. I'm fine. Teresa Martinez was just driving by in her Nissan Pathfinder when the tree toppled, hitting her vehicle and one other. Well, I was just driving and I saw the the tree just like right in front of me and I tried to break and it just just went right through it. Motorists have been dealing with rain on and off throughout the day, but they were kept off of this stretch of Pacific Coast Highway in Ventura County. It was closed between Las Posas and Yerba Buena overnight and through the morning after mud and rocks fell to the highway and had to be cleaned up. Somehow during the night, uh, the, the back, the patio room started flooding. It was flooding at home for this Newberry Park resident. Ventura County firefighters helped clear out her clogged gutters and dug a trench to drain her flooded room. It was scary because I always think of electrocution, you know, electronics, uh, electrocution. Um, so, yes, I was very concerned. Now, we haven't received any rain for about the last 90 minutes here in Oxnard. In fact, the sun has been out, but Oxnard has gotten about uh, two inches of rain with this storm. And the winds, the highest winds were clocked at about 59 miles per hour within the last 24 hours. Reporting live in Oxnard, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.